Time now for Better Money Boston. I'm here with Nick Colantuno. He's a certified financial planner with Johnson Brunetti. I want to talk today about required minimum distributions. We know these as RMDs, Nick. What do we need to know? Well, look, Megan, there is a lot to know about required minimum distributions. And what makes it even more complicated for folks, the IRS is always seemingly changing the rules year in and year out. Maybe we take a half step back and you can tell us what is an RMD? Yeah, it's important to start with the basics. An RMD, it's an acronym. It stands for Required Minimum Distribution. It's just the minimum amount that the IRS forces you to withdraw on an annual basis out of all your different retirement accounts. Okay, speaking of those accounts, which ones are affected? Yeah, it's important to make a, a, uh, a distinguishing factor here. The RMD applies to any of those tax deferred retirement accounts. The most common are the IRAs, the 401ks. Maybe you took a lump sum pension benefit, rolled that into an IRA. Now that applies. There are some exceptions to that rule. The primary one being any Roth 401k assets that you have, or if you are still working above that age of 73, any money that you have in a current employer's plan is exempt from that required minimum distribution. Okay, so Nick, is this on us to make sure we're taking the right amount or is it up to the custodian? Oh, How does that it's, work? Uh, it's absolutely on you as the account holder. Believe me, nobody knows better than your good friend, Uncle Sam, that you have never paid a penny of tax on any of that money. Once you reach age 73, that's where you're forced to begin taking those taxable distributions. Okay, there's some stiff penalties that apply here. Tell us about that. Yeah, as if taxes aren't bad enough. If you miss a required minimum distribution, not only do they force you to then take the money out, but any monies that should have been withdrawn that were not, you'll get hit with a 50% excise tax on those funds. Taxes are steep enough, penalties on top of it, that's not a place you want to end up. You want to get this one right, and you brought a free book we on should. this topic. Yeah, absolutely. Understanding required minimum distributions. Like I said, if the rules aren't complicated enough, this is certainly something you should be addressing with your advisor every single year. Absolutely. Required minimum distributions. You want to make sure you understand that. This free book is a great step to helping you do just that. We want you to get it today. Simply go to bettermoneyboston.com to receive it. Again, that's bettermoneyboston.com. Dot com.